Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, we are going to look at one more dev tip, which is how to use PHP CS Fixer. PHP CS Fixer allows you to run code formatting based on certain rules, which we define using a PHP file. And the best part is if even if you have you know, a lot of plugins in your IDE or your code editor, not all of them are configured in your team in the exact same way. And this is the situation which can create a problem. It can be a little difficult to read others code. And hence, it is a good idea to have PHP CS Fixer work for you on your pipeline. Then what happens is when you do a code pull, you will always get a very well formatted code and the developer really doesn't need to do too much in terms of spending time understanding the rules and you know, uh, do these changes by himself. So some of these things will automatically come in. So let's see how this can be done. Now, PHP CS Fixer, first of all, is a dev dependency, which means that you need to install it with the dev flag. So let me do that. Okay, my terminal is looking a little weird. I don't know why. But anyways, so yes, I have installed this thing. Okay, the composer package is installed. Now let's see whether it is inside the dev dependency or not. Yes, it is. So you can see it is a dev dependency, not a require. That's fine. Now, we need to create a file which will have the rules. This is going to be very similar to, let's just say, our editor.config, where we define certain kinds of rules, like star, every character set should be UTF, they should have an end of line, tab indent is for, things like that. So let's just create one file, which is going to be a dot file, php-csfixer.php. Let me open that file in here. Where is it? Right. So, um, what does it say? PHP CS Fixer. Okay. It doesn't return an instance. Oh, uh, yeah. Th that is quite possible. So, right now, the moment I added this thing, because my ID has the plugin, it will start formatting things in a particular way. But I am not going to type everything out. So let's just copy this and go over the basic things which are there in this file. So let me. Okay. So it's a PHP file, obviously. So then we have some use statements. And then this is an array of rules which I found over the internet. This is describing most of the rules and based on this all the um, you can say formatting is done okay let's see if we can find something very easy and meaningful to understand single blank line at the end of file single blank line before namespace things like that yes so uh, no unused imports this is also a very interesting thing okay so with this entire array of rules what i am doing is i'm creating a finder instance okay and then in the finder instance i am first of all declaring where the finder should look for files where formatting is required so i am defining that i want files within app config database resources routes and tests which means I haven't included bootstrap or storage. Fair enough. Moving ahead, we are saying we are only looking for .php files. And then one anomaly is that we don't want blade files to be fixed. So we are saying 
don't look for files which start with star.blade.php. So we are looking for PHP files, but we are not looking for PHP files which have blade.php with them. And then we are ignoring dot files and vcs files so this is our finder instance once the finder instance is created we create a config instance config set finder we send the finder object we send the rules risky allowed and set using cache once the, so this cache is basically you know you can see this file right so these are the things which are required and once this is done what you can do is because we have installed composer we will have the bin file so vendor bin php cs fixer fix now um sorry single dash and v dry run show progress equals dots oops not hots but dots now if i run because it's a dry run what it will do is it will scan all the files and it told us that there are you know changes expected in 54 files okay none of them are either invalid or error but most of them are f which should stand for something i'm not sure if f is Okay, it says it will be fixed. But again, this is a dry run, which means no changes are made yet. Um, I, there is a good git tool here as well. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, so far we haven't made any changes. Why? Because I had this fix with dry run as a flag. But now, if we execute it, you know, keep this in mind. There were four files which had changes. Two already tracked and two unversioned files. Right, so now if I hit enter. And now if we look at it, you can see there are changes in 56 files. Let's look at a few of them to understand what is happening. Okay, this is a typical Windows problem where I think it's the you know from Linux to Windows when the files change this thing comes up but app.php is there any change over here uh, this tool doesn't tell me auth service provider again nothing in here then config interesting Let's see if we can find anything which is from our code base, you know, something which we have created. Product, right. Let's see, what, what is there? Okay, uh, a green line, which means an enter was added, a new line was added, that's fine. Um, anything else? This is one place where I think, if, if we look at it, right, let's do code. Hit enter. Nothing like the you know, Git tool which is available with Visual Studio Code. I haven't seen anyone um, you know, coming up with a better tool interface. Sorry. Okay. Um, I don't need the terminal, but let's look at the user model. I have a user model entry. Okay. This is interesting. So, you remember we had one rule which said right at the bottom somewhere in the array no unused imports is true so what happened is when we had created the user model or when the laravel's clean installation is done this trait is available but then because we haven't used it it removed it and these are some things which can make a lot of difference you know um, I have moved, I have removed some uh, use statement, but then it doesn't automatically go away. And those kind of cleanups can be automatically done by PHP CS Fixer if you can run it on your CI pipeline. So that's about it, guys. That's what I wanted to show you in today's dev tip. I'm trying to integrate this PHP CS Fixer into my CI pipeline so that I don't need to even run those commands in here. 
I have done, um, you know, I have uh, executed these commands in Husky um, using Husky, which are you know npm hooks, git git hooks. But then for that, I will need uh, node modules, and I don't want to do that right now. I will first try to see if I can get it done using the CI pipeline. If not, then we will switch back to the npm module. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.